What's going on guys? Coach Kiki and Coach Beckett. And we are back in the content house. That's what we're calling it for now. Yeah, and it's Thursday. Yes. So um, Thursday uh, for us is a second check-in day for our clients. I like to call it a soft check-in day. Soft. <laughs> yes, soft <laughs> check-in day. Just kind of like a checkup. Yeah. <laughs> Mondays are check-ins, Thursdays are checkups. So just kind of like a yeah. quick kind of thing. And if you don't message me, I will find you. Yeah, <laughs> we will. Um, what are we talking about today? We are talking about how to use your Thursday check-ins to strategize for the weekend. Yeah. So um, I kind of, I, I guess like both ways, lifestyle and um, contest prep. Uh, well, if you're in improvement season, you're with chunks of the lifestyle. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. What, um, maybe like you, your, you, yourself as an athlete, um, I know our dynamic is a little bit different um, than most coaching relationships <laughs> where we speak um, yes. our, our check ins. Um, but kind of um, maybe before you moved here, how would our Thursday check in look for you in? you know, the lifestyle stage. Let's do yeah. lifestyle first. Okay, so, I mean, I was usually in Colorado mm -hmm. um, during my improvement seasons. So I'd check in on Thursday and then he would ask me, what do you have going on this weekend? And I would be like, not much. <laughs> like, probably gonna go out to eat. And we would talk about that and she would say, okay, I mean, you get one free meal. Do with that what you will. Yeah. Like in the improvement season, it's going to be more lax, like, or actually we wouldn't usually talk about where I was going and what I was getting. Well, for you, when, um, we were kind of, uh, ev obviously every client and interaction is going to be different. Um, so in Beckin was in her improvement season, um, last, um, winter, I would call mm -hmm. it. Um, and so one of the main goals was A, we needed to put on size. So we definitely incorporated the untracked and refeed meals. She followed macros, um, so they were untracked meals. Um, and um, what another one of like our lifestyle goals we were working on was not going have ham. Everything. Yeah, going yeah. ham. Yeah. So <laughs> in that time, we would use Thursday's check-in to um, a, see what was going on. So, you know, if there were specific events or like really cool things, that would be like a, you know, just have fun, relax, take your normal like meal, like meal or two macros away and just like replace those and have fun. Mm -hmm. Um, but if we were trying to like figure out how you would, um, approach these free meals with a little more. Uh, I wouldn't say rigidness, but not as uh, explicit. Free. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, what would kind of what have you learned, or um, what did we do during that? Oh, uh, a lot of the time, I would I was on a burger face. Yeah. So you would say burger and fries, no cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burger and fries, no cheese, That's... or like let's do replace two of your meals with. Um, a burger and fries and a dessert um, mm -hmm. and we kind of were talking about like you could do like appetizer or dessert yeah. or like drink or dessert not having to do everything. all of it yeah <laughs> um, but I think for um, other people you know it's where it's really just utilizing that communication on Thursday's check-in to say hey this is what I have going on um, like, and then us as coaches deciding if they needed a free meal or if we're trying to stay on track to continue that kind of burn or build, um, some additional momentum. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, I just like to know what you're doing on the weekend mm -hmm. and then either a free meal or like you just said, take this meal out and replace it. Um, it's kind of repetitive, but like, <laughs> yeah. So it's, I would say like if, um, I think examples are good for people. So 
say we are in a dieting, your lifestyle client in a dieting phase and we are um, not implementing a refeed or a high day or something like that on the weekend. So Thursday, you check in with us and say, hey, like, I know we want to like stay on plan. I'm game for that. However, my, as you know, my family goes to this diner every Saturday morning um, is what, what can we do? Right. Um, so that's when I, as a coach, I'll look at their, you know, meal plan or their macros if I need to teach them how to track meals out at a restaurant. Um, and we'll, you know, I'll have them send me the menu. We'll look at it over together. Um, and then we'll see if we need to, um, if there's an easy like swap of that meal with similar protein, carbs, and fats in a meal from the restaurant, or, you know, maybe you want pancakes and that's fine. Let's just pull from one of your later meals, some of those extra carbs and put, make those, push those into your meal one. Um, so there's some manip a lot of manipulation to go and that mm -hmm. it kind of helps teach the client about, um, like yeah. carbs, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> carbs and yeah. fats and ways to kind of puzzle and Tetris things around and transition over into a macro based plan. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so nice to know macros. It makes, yeah. it's so much more flexible. Um, that was another thing that we went through about like, you can go out to eat and track a meal. Um, it's just kind of a coaching them through it and also taking the time yourself as a client to learn like this is a per this is protein this is carbs this is a fat yeah yeah i mean it's i feel like we just always say like pre-plan pre-plan and that's what that thursday you know check-in is um we know how to do that as coaches for <laughs> ourselves um but sometimes as lifestyle um clients or just I mean, competition clients too, if they're not like in this field, um, how we can manipulate things to, I, cause we don't want people to just like have to carry around their food all the time or feel like if they go out to eat, like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be off plan or, and then say, fuck it. <laughs> right. Um, so really just communicating with your coach on, you know, if you, if you work with one of us, I don't know, a lot of people don't do bi-weekly check-ins, but um, just kind of like, hey, this is what we're doing. What can I, what can I do? Or I'm going here this weekend on a, on a little overnight stay. Um, and I know for, for, for me and you do too, like we, we look at client, we look at menus at places, mm -hmm. you know, we'll help you. Um, if someone tells me they're going on a, on a trip over the weekend, we'll ask about, um, if they have like a gym set up, if they need a gym set up or if they're just going to take it as a rest day, I'll look at Google maps and I'll be like, <laughs> Oh, here's a couple of places, um, that like I know would offer like guest yeah. passes if they're not like at a hotel with gym. Um, I'll look at menus, you know, like I said, if we need to swap out some meals or, um, just kind of teach you to eat out. Um, and be specific like when you're ordering because you can mm -hmm. there's a lot of ways to manipulate restaurant meals and, and things like that um, yeah. to kind of more align with what your what your goals are um, and your plan mm -hmm. well just this morning I had someone say we're doing sushi on Friday but she's one of those that is like I want to stay on plan like I, mm -hmm. I'm in my head to stay on plan like you can have sushi like yeah. that's what that's protein and a carb and yeah. a fat probably depends like who doesn't get avocado uh, yeah i know but, yeah. <laughs> so i'm like uh spicy tuna rolls hello <laughs> yeah yes um so yeah just having us there as a sounding board for that and also like we understand the weekends are fun and we don't want you to you know Oh, I hate my meal plan. Like I have to follow this. Like, and people are doing this and blah blah blah. Yeah, <laughs> like, you can make it work. Yeah, just be open and honest. I would rather you tell me, yo, this is what we're doing. This is kind of what I want to have. Yeah. Like, can you help me? Like, yes, yes, I can help you. I would rather that happen um, than come Monday's check-in when we 
you know, maybe decided on not a repeat or maybe we decided on something clean and you were just like, yeah, well, I did this instead. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's, okay. that's frustrating. Um, so like, utilize this, but don't abuse it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, what else? That's kind of like the main thing, just communication. Yeah, that's the lifestyle stuff, like we'll make it oh, yeah. happy contest, contest for prep. you, but contest prep. Contest prep, I was, specific. yeah, much <laughs> more specific. Um, you know, when you are in contest prep, um, it's very important <laughs> on Thursdays check in to, um, you know, double check if you're getting a refeed or not, because just because you've got you got one in the past or the past two weeks does not mean like this upcoming weekend you need a refeed mm -hmm. um and maybe we want to do a different refeed so uh thursday's check-in is always like this is what you're doing this is what you're replacing it with um and you know keep all other variables the same yeah <laughs> do not change anything else <laughs> they're so like literally so specific even i mean I probably didn't understand like what she was doing when we weren't together, but for instance, like you'll get someone salmon and fries for a reason or salmon and a baked potato instead of fries so that there's less fat. Like literally everything is so specific. It's for a reason and it's just like, it's, I mean, there's, I don't know. There, it's it's not like it's like the science and art of bodybuilding. It is this is where it comes into play, um, and just figuring out what works. Um, so that's why it's like, uh, and everybody is different. So that's why I'm the burger bitch. Yeah, you're the burger bitch. It works for you. Mm -hmm. um, but if I give Sally a a burger, like, mm mm. Um, even if they're like very similar in, you know, height and, and weight, it could literally just be like, this girl responds much better to a refeed of, you know, pancakes that are literally carbs and butter and not like the salt from the burger and fries. Mm -hmm. So, um, Thursday's check-in is very important yeah. <laughs> for competitors. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the like why we do refeeds not only for like mental purposes but for the body's response um especially okay let's do competition prep yeah competition prep um it's more pertinent i was not prepared to talk about oh, sorry, the importance of refeeds talk about that <laughs> i was not in the not in the I got you. Yeah. Um, yeah. More so just preparing for the weekend. Yeah. It's communication. <laughs> communication is key. We'll talk about the importance of grief beats. It's a lot of time. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. If you have any questions about Thursday checkups, soft check-ins. <laughs> check-ins. <laughs> Always tell me where you're going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> we want to look at menus. <laughs> yeah. We love food. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, just let us know about anything, anything bikini, anything lifestyle, um, having fun with your plans. Yeah. Cool. All right. You can find me at kickers laugh underscore IFBB pro on Instagram. And you can find me at Beckon underscore bikini on Instagram. <laughs>